I don't know if I'm going to post this or not, but oh, I don't like the vulnerable feeling. Jesus, look at them. <laughs> that is epic. That is epic. I gotta take some pictures of that. Look at these paddles. <laughs> they are blooming brilliant. <laughs> and you can't even see the old ones, they're completely gone. That is sweet. There's alley at the front. Right. The whole way across. Okay. So no, not a load of air can get, nothing yeah. can really get underneath it. Right. Come down the sides. Yeah. can filter out through all of these gaps. Okay. So that's yeah. why I didn't want to enclose them. Yep. So the air can get out. So the air can get out. Can, yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. these, these are 160s, aren't they? They're 160s, yeah. So they're even bigger. Um, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Cooking on soda now, baby. Yeah. I have just got the motor home, picked it all up. They've gone through everything with me. Um, yeah, I'll go through that more detail, but now I'm just going to leave here, leave Reading, and I'm going to head back towards my work. I need to get some laundry on. I want to crack on before Friday, Friday rush hour hits. Let's go! So I've got my motor home back, everything's fine. Uh, sun's been fitted, fridge is fine, leaks found, done, sorted. Um, parked up to do my laundry because I've been on the road for a week and uh, one of the lights wasn't working it was getting dark so I put the lights on one wasn't working one of the hab lights uh, which have got LEDs in um, and I was like oh, okay must have blown a fuse or something anyway then I tried to put the bigger lights on that I've uh, got and uh, they didn't come on. So I clicked the Max Air fan and that didn't come on. So I was like, oh, okay, the fuse has definitely gone. So I opened up the, the wardrobe and uh, uh, start pulling some fuses out and one's blown, so I replace it. And then I went and flicked the lights and nothing happened. So I'm still shaking a bit. This sounds pathetic, to be fair. Um, it's my home, so I just worry about it, you know. I'm so glad to be back in it today, and then uh, something something happens. Um, so then I thought, ah, oh, okay, there's a there's a fuse under the under the floor, which is where the original bat a leisure battery is. Um, and I know there's a fuse there, and it has popped before. So I thought, ah, oh, but that's popped. So I pulled it out, and yeah, that's popped. So I thought, okay, put a new one in. And then, because I'm doing my laundry, my alarm went to tell you. Know, I mean, you've all seen where I do laundry. It's like a vending machine. So it's, my alarm's going saying, move it over to the uh, tumble dryer. So I step out, go, uh, do that, move it over, two minutes. Come back to the hab door and where the switches are for the lights. I thought, I can smell something. I thought, I wonder if the, the light, uh, the wires behind here have popped or something. I, I mean, I'm not an electrician. I have no clue to what anything. So I thought, oh, I wonder. So I step back in the motorhome. And then I go to the uh, wardrobe, and it's smoking. The fuse board is smoking. Um, so I shit myself. Honest to God, I shit myself because this thing's smoking. I'm thinking, please don't catch fire. Please don't catch fire. Please don't catch fire. I then quickly grab my my pliers. Uh, rip that fuse out and I start ripping all the other fuses out because this thing's melting it's completely gooey and melted so I'm shitting myself and then I'm like standing there thinking what the fuck what the fuck <sighs> um, and then I could still smell something and I'm like and I look down because I've still got the panel open from the one on the floor and that one's melting its socks off and smoking like a little bastard and it's, uh, I again grab the pliers quickly, try and start pulling it, and the whole fuse connector comes off. It's come off both wires completely. So I'm like, what, what the hell is going on? I've just got the motorhome back. I'm, I don't know what's going on. So it just makes you feel so vulnerable, you know. Honest to God, I hate that feeling. Because I don't know what to do. I mean, I know things to do. If I sat down, I could do it. 
but right in the instant at the moment I don't know what I'm doing I have no idea and I'm just completely at the mercy of what of the system and of of the motorhome and I just don't want my house to burn down I I'm really protective of it and oh, proper scared me and shook me up I hate that feeling so I, uh, I text Gadget John and he rung me straight away I sent him some pictures and he rung me straight away he said yep yeah, it's not good that I shouldn't have done that um, he rung run a few a few things with me and then said that there's something must be short in the system because you know you shouldn't be doing that and the amps might uh, the fuses might be too high and, and everything but he was reassuring me like you know trying to help me and well calm me down a bit really because I was proper shitting myself so I then um, he you know, he said, like, if you need anything else, get back to me and whatnot, and we'll go from there. Which, you know, I'm grateful for him trying to talk me down that, because I was shitting myself. So then I sent a message to Chris at the motorhome place, um, and I said to him, like, I really need you to call me urgently. Uh, I wouldn't normally do this. I mean, this is 7 o'clock at night. I've got his mobile number, and I said, I wouldn't normally do this to you, but, you know, I, I, it's an emergency. I need your help. Um, and I sent him some pictures on WhatsApp. Anyway, fast forward about 10 minutes later, he calls me. I run through with him and he's like, whoa, 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 calm down, it's fine. If you've pulled all the fuses, everything's done, it's fine. He was really trying to calm me down. Because I'm just like a, I'm, you know, I'm quite an upbeat, happy guy. Nothing really gets me, but that, it just scared me, you know. I don't want problems with my home. Anyway, he runs through and I told him the story, what, what went on. And he said, oh, okay, it could be this, it could be that, which we're going to investigate. So, um, and he said, you can, you know, you need to get, you need to do this, you need to do that. He said, you can get an auto electrician or, you know, you can come back to me and I'll sort it. You know, I'll go through the entire system. I'll check the entire system and go through everything and we'll make sure it's all sound and solid. And we'll find if there's anywhere else that's got an issue and what the issue was. So I'm going to head back down there tonight and I'll wake up outside his yard and then uh, they're going to crack on. But <sighs> I was on such a high, you know, I've got my mama back, I've got my solar back. You know, you know that feeling like when you come back from holiday and you, you're on that, you're on that drive back home, just, that, you know, all right, you want to stay on holiday forever. I understand that and everyone does. But you know that once you've, once you've landed or once you've, once you're on the drive back, you just want to get home and you want to get to your bed. You want to get to your, your familiar, your, your safe place. It's yours, your, your nest. That's what I wanted. I was so looking forward to that and I got that. And then now I just feel so. I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know what the words to use, but... So, update with uh, the motorhome. So, last night I drove drove back to the motorhome place, STJ. Drove here, um, parked outside, um, stayed the night. Woke up this morning, and then 8 o'clock, 8.30, we were straight, Chris was straight here, straight on it. We've gone through the whole... Whole, check the whole system uh, the bits that don't work and we checked all their connections and make sure there's no because there was something uh, there was something joined so it was shorting somewhere which we didn't know where um, so we checked the under cabinet lights we checked the ceiling lights we checked the max fan we checked the other ceiling lights we checked the bedroom light and they were all fine. So they all came out, they all got checked to make sure they weren't fusing and shorting. So then that left uh, the roof for where the new panel's been put on. Um, so to see if a screw had gone through. So, but to get to the roof, the wires in the roof, which we didn't know exactly where they were. So then panels, the cupboards had to come part of the cupboards, the uh, kitchen cupboards about to come out. Because I think this has got to come out and this has got to come out to get to the wires from the roof that come down because we might have 
with the new panels gone on them, um, screw might have gone through one of the wires. That's what we're thinking now. But as you can see, this place is been tipped out upside down. We've got tons of shit going on here, there, flipping everywhere. And then there's a false ceiling in my cupboards. So once that came out, then we could see that there was a wire that goes down the back and goes up, but we don't know exactly where. So they've had to cut into the ceiling, which will be covered, will be re redone and then covered with the false ceiling anyway. So we cut the hole in there, which I've got some photos of and some footage of. And as we started cutting in, cutting in, and then pulling the roof, pulling the ceiling out, that's where we, we, saw, we saw it, melted wires. That's where it shorted. A screw had gone through the ceiling uh, through the outside roof which is alley so they can't run uh, a wire checker over and because there's so much inside you can't check that way so it was just shitty shitty i don't mean to be swearing a lot but proper shit bad luck um a screw's gone through to hold the solar panel hinge and gone through and gone straight into the wires and then that shorted hasn't um hasn't surged things have just been warming up warming up warming up um over time and then the weakest point went which was the fuses and the fuse box but because there was no surge of power this is what we're, what we're thinking um it didn't um it didn't trip because there was no surge it was just getting warmer and warmer and warmer until it started melting and the wires in the ceiling where, where we found them they've all melted down to the actual wire the actual plastics all gone so that's a bit scary the whole thing's scary to be honest that, that something like that could happen from one screw chris has um cut the whole loom one by one and then resoldered the loom made a new loom connecting all these wires i think there was about 15 wires to reconnect to cut and reconnect uh, which is quite quite epic and now more is just being checked the batteries have been checked the solar has been checked the system has been checked all we've got to put now is the, uh, the new fuses the new fuse box the battery fuse for the single leisure battery under the floor then yeah they'll give it the once over again make sure the system's running fine which the, it is because it's like weird because my system's not got two systems so everything that where the fuses went there, that was the original habitation fuses, things that, that come out of the factory with. Um, and everything that we've put in has got a separate fuse box, so it's got its own new fuse box. So none of that was affected. The whole solar system wasn't affected, none of it was affected. Yeah, it's just bad luck, but they're sorting it all out and uh, yeah, giving it the go over. So I'll keep you updated. So I didn't film anymore after that. Uh, I've done a little bit of filming of the actual, uh, the mechanics of what was getting done, uh, which you'll see throughout this video, but I didn't film any more of an update. Um, but what actually happened is I left uh, Chris's workshop at about, uh, about seven o'clock in the evening. So it was like an 11 hour day. So he was on it for like 11 hours 10 11 hours fixing the issue which again a complete fluke you know piss poor luck on his behalf and on my behalf because he obviously f had to then spend waste his day fixing it which i am ever so grateful for but i have to tip my hat to chris that he literally said come straight back down you know we'll sort it don't worry and then he sorted it the next day you know and you know, it was, you know, their screw screwing into the thing and all that. But like I say, it was complete fluke. It could have happened to anyone. This was the wiring loom that the screw went into. And I'll give you some close-up shots. But that, if you can probably see it through there, is the hole where the screw went in. It's completely, utterly melted and molten. And this wire, which I think was the actual culprit, along, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, again, I don't know about electrics, but this wire from here 
to here is completely stripped of any plastic the actual casing of the wire that's all metal right there so that's a 10 10 wire loom so we had to cut that end cut that end and then rejoin every single one and there was a few other wires surrounding that he, he was going to replace just in case because they'd been in the heat heat area and they'd looked a bit singed and the actual screws that were in the ceiling they got um flattened and they got siliconed so they're all yeah they're all covered nothing's going to ever go near them and then there was uh, insulation put over them and then these wires once this new loom was made the new loom was made it was put back and all the foam in insulation was put scooped back in there to expanding foam to be put in to what was removed i've waited you know about a month now maybe more um to do this update obviously to make sure everything's fine and it is it's all see it's all seem pretty the panels are there i've now got uh, 700 watts in total on the roof because the three panels that got replaced were slightly bigger uh, gained an extra 30 watts out of them so they were 150 i think they're 160s the system is has been tested he was using all his tools and the hoover in from my inverter and my uh my batteries and everything so it was all fine which was good because you get to see we put all the lights on we put literally everything on and just run it and then used all the all the sockets and uh the 12 volt and the 240 volt and yeah tested everything and yeah so basically that is an update to my solar system uh my solar panels being replaced i would like to thank chris and steve at stj they are an amazing amazing people and they've, they've got an amazing team down there and they're an amazing company um all right yeah this this incident happened but it was no fault of theirs and there was no fault of anyone's it was just bad luck but to say that they went above and beyond to fix the problem is well, that's putting it lightly really so yeah big thanks to uh chris and steve at stj i really appreciate it guys so um yeah, that's basically an update to my system. It's it's all rocking and rolling now, apart from a few the, the little teething problem that we had with one screw. One screw can ruin your life. That's what she said. <laughs> got into the high note, haven't we? But yeah, that's my solar system, guys. If you've got any questions um, about any of this, then feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the all the views and all the all the messages that I get sent. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take it easy. Bye.